Hey, thanks to your guys' support of my videos, I'm over halfway towards getting monetized on YouTube. If you like what you see and want some more helpful obsidian or productivity content in the future, please consider subscribing. It's free and I'd appreciate it a ton. Anyways, onto the video. In this video, I'll share my task and project management system in Obsidian, sharing the workflow, plugins, and templates to make it all work. It's compatible for both PC and mobile usage, so it can truly work as your all-in-one planning system. If you want your tasks and projects to be highly customizable and integrated into your own personal knowledge management app, be sure to watch until the very end. First, I'd like to give you a quick tour of the entire system just to show you what's in store. For projects, I have a main note that keeps track of all the active projects depending on their timeframes as well as those I've already finished. Each project note has a list to show which tasks I still have to do, some prompts when planning the projects, and its smaller tasks. Much like a traditional to-do list, I have a main note that shows all my tasks, as well as other notes to isolate project-related, miscellaneous, or someday maybe tasks. Each task is comprised of a single note, and can be easily created using the TQ plugin, more on that later. The tasks can be labeled based on their importance or urgency, and the tasks for the day can be seen in my daily note, which are sorted based on size. Now, what tools do you need to construct this system? Thanks to some nifty community plugins, we're given some extra features to make a workflow like this come to life. The main ones needed will be TQ, Templator, and Data View. TQ provides a UI for creating tasks which are then turned into separate notes. Through search queries, we can then organize the tasks based on various tags or values. Templator isn't heavily used in this workflow, but you'll still need it if you're planning on using my project template. Lastly, data view is also used for storing the relevant task and project subcategories that fall under the main notes. Optional plugins include the quick add plugin to add additional macros, the admonition plugin to have customizable block style content, or the checklist plugin to have a UI for showing certain tasks. Now that we have the tools ready, it's time to lay out the foundation of the system. All the notes and templates I use will be in my GitHub repository, so be sure to check it out if you just want to copy my structure. First off, let's start with the main hub notes that organize everything. In the to-dos hub, I have a reminder for the meanings of the color codings beside each task so I know what they stand for. Next, I have a certain tag for each to-do list so I can use a data view query to easily index them. I only have 4 lists at the moment, but you can easily make more depending on your needs. For the main note, I just use a TQ search query to group and sort the tasks by their due date, and another query to list all my completed tasks. More specific list notes, like ones that show only project related tasks, are essentially the same except you'll have to sort some tasks using tags like TQ slash projects, TQ slash someday maybe, etc. In my case, miscellaneous tasks don't have a tag, so I just omit the mentioned tags above. There's nothing really different in the projects note, except there's additional fields you have to keep track of, like its completion status. I'm currently grouping them depending on their timeframes, but you can also group them by their importance, category, deadlines, etc. In my daily note, I have some group search queries for easy access when scheduling my day. Now that the framework is set up, it's time for the templates I use. The note for tasks cannot be changed, but luckily the project template is made from scratch so it can be modified to your own needs. The only mandatory value you need is completed as it's needed in the data view queries so feel free to add your own like deadline or hibernating. If you're also grouping projects by their timeframes, be sure to appropriately tag what kind of project it is. Inspired by Brian Jenks' meta template, I prefix my project notes with a tilde so the project's template is automatically inserted into the note when the meta template runs. If you want something similar, I would recommend you check his templator video out. 
To have a list of tasks only related to the project, be sure to sort them by a specific project tag. In this case, I have tq slash project slash weekly slash task and project video. After that, it mostly depends on how you like to plan your projects. In my case, I like to plan my projects using hornier goal setting, which is a stupid, modified system of smart goals I made for fun. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I can go in depth in another video if needed. When planning my tasks, I categorize them into to-dos, which are one-time things, dailies, and habits I can variably perform throughout the day. The tasks are added through the TQ plugin, while dailies and habits are incorporated into Habitica. The UI is pretty intuitive for creating new tasks, but just remember to include the appropriate tags if it falls under a certain project or task category, and also a tag declaring its size if you want to sort it by that in your daily note like I do. If you aren't using an external app for dailies, there's also an option for repeatable tasks. The important and urgent tags are based on the Eisenhower decision matrix which I thought was a cool addition for helping prioritize tasks. Let's say you wanted to create a weekly project to implement this task and project management workflow. So first I would create the project. Uh, I'll just name it implement task and project workflow. And then create the note. What the heck? There we go. I guess my obsidian is just lagging a bit. And then I would fill out all the fields here. So deadline, let's just say uh tomorrow wait that's not tomorrow there we go hibernating it's not hibernating completed nope and then for the tags i would put weekly since it's a weekly project blah 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 and then for the specific project tag i would do weekly and then task and proj leave it at that and then next i would fill out all these prompts just so i can plan the project see what i need to do see what i need see what the overall plan is and then for execution uh let's say we have to do a small task to download the templates and notes so download templates and notes and then another small task could be to plan some projects for the week so plan projects and then for a habit, we could just use the workflow, I guess. Oh wait, that's not habits, oops. Use the workflow. And for resources, we could link my video. I don't have the link, but you can just imagine it's there. And then once you're done all the planning, you could just hit your hotkey or use command palette, whatever. Yeah, so then I would just TQ, create task. This is my hotkey, control shift eight. Create it. So first one was download projects. How do I keep saying project? Download templates and notes. And then set the due date. So let's just say, let's say today. And then for the tags, you would include um, the size. So I'd consider this to be a small. And then I'd include the specific tag for the task. So task and proj. I think that was it and let's say it's important and urgent because you have some important projects to do so then you'd save it and you also do the same for this one I'm just gonna copy paste to make it easier let's say this one's also today important and then small let's see if it shows up now yep okay and then we'd save it and then once we go to to do's it's right here download templates and notes, plan projects, and you can add any relevant information or stuff you need to write in here that's specific to the task. And if you go to projects, here it is, implement task and project workflow. So yeah. And of course, if you finish the task, uh, let's go back to to do's, just click on it, check it off, check it off. It'll show up very bottom interesting over here and for projects go to implement and then we can change it to completed it will be gone from here it is not disappearing what the heck there it is it's gone and then it is now in the dusty projects header 
Thanks for watching until the very end. This video covers majority of my everyday workflow, but I may not have mentioned some things as they're related to the workflows in my other videos. If you want to learn more about my periodic projects and planning, be sure to check out my periodic reviews video. And if you want to learn more about how I use my daily note, feel free to check that out as well. Also, I'm running out of video ideas, so please leave a comment if you have any topics or workflows you're interested in. Anyways, if you found my advice to be helpful, be sure to like and share this video, and subscribe for more Obsidian and productivity related content. This has been John Maverick, stay mindful. Thank you.